My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share explicit story times, product reviews, and we overall like to have a good-ass time. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. And without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, y'all, the moment we have all been waiting for. Jason Ditto. Did I say that right? Yeah. Has, um, I guess he's going to reveal everything with his top surgery. So let's. Okay, so boom. Okay, so boom. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Okay. You can already see it. Look, his posture is. I can tell he's the confidence better, already yes. up, man. Uh, every time I look at it, it looks fine. Nah, that's what it is. You got little nerves going on. Okay, I'm gonna get you unbutton your shirt. Hi. Let's see it. This is Kelly. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? It is so crazy how his six pack is just virtually gone. I mean, I know he's going to get it right back, but it's scary to even think about us. Like, I'm thinking about the months that we go without eating and, I mean, without I mean, working, working out. out. Yes. Yeah, I told Nick, I remember back in the day, this dude who I used to work with, he used to go to the gym and work out before he came to the club. Like, if we had an outing. And they said that's because that's what make your muscles swell. So, if he's not in the gym, they're going to go down. Hey. But you best believe he going to hit it hard. Oh, he going hard. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't have to wear these. Uh, put mine in a day, but go get one of the uh, higher shirts. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Nike. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah, just general compression. It doesn't have to wear all time anymore. Okay. Oh, wow. So he don't have to wear the H bandage no. anymore. Um, I know you got the other one. The bars for the nipples, right? Uh huh. We're going to show you how to um, do it. A non stick one would be better, right? Well, I'll show you. Okay. We cut little holes in it, so it's. I'll show oh, you what okay. This you don't have to cover anymore. So you're done with the okay. white incision. Okay. We leave the steri strips on. When okay. they come off, we're going to give you a roll of some scar tape, and you're going to take just a little long piece on there and put it on each side. Okay. But wait till the steri strips start to come off, okay. and then you can, you know, at some point you can go ahead and take um, them off. Also, I know you got so. Um, I can't see. So cool. They pull yeah, it off. I hope right, his damn right, nipple. Give you, Girl, I wonder if he had nightmares of his nipple falling off, so man. Shit. Yeah. Have a, uh, gel, a silicone gel. Okay. That it's a scar gel, and it works really, really good on your scars too. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. It's good. Looks really good. Wow. Aww, look at him he was in surgery were they able to be professional or what did they have to just check his body out and be like his body look good like i wonder if they was able to be professional or was they like come here check this shit out because yes. i would have had to be like now you seen them videos of them doctors playing with people's and bags and, and all kind of yeah. stuff yeah. right so yeah <laughs> he looks good yeah yeah, and then, but take your washcloth, get it kind of soapy, and kind of gently wash on those nipples, not hard, just okay. kind of rub on them real gentle. Okay. You want to get the Vaseline build up, because you're going to be putting it on every day, okay. so you want to wash it back off once a day. I'm listening, like, like I got to take care of him. Okay, so that's 
first thing you're going to do, and on here you can see you've got little stitches that go around, mm -hmm. they dissolve and come apart, they just spring oh, apart and come out on their own. You don't have to do a thing. Same thing, the ones under here are under the skin, so okay. there's nothing that even shows there, okay? Right. Your nipples will probably peel a little bit, mm -hmm. like a sunburn. Okay. If they lose pigmentation, don't worry about it, it'll all come back. Okay. okay. So all I'm doing here is just putting a real light coat of Vaseline on each side. Do you feel that? Like a little bit. I was just finna say that. I wonder how sensitive it is. His friend was like, do you feel that? Are men nipples the same type of sensitive as women nipples? I don't, well, I don't know. Men, can you answer that. this? Like, are your nipples super sensitive? Like, is but it then, I wonder if it's like some guys, like some women. Because some women nipple sensitive and some women's are not. Really? So, it could be the same for them. Yeah, because I don't think my nipples are sensitive. Mine's super sensitive. Yes, they are. <laughs> some people feel it, some people don't. You'll probably around, around. Yeah, yeah, but you'll probably get some little. Um, I feel that. Do you feel that? That's good. good. That's good. good. Yeah, okay, it's coming back. Yeah, so here's a wonderful word. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. All right, so in that little package, there's three long strips of Vaseline gauze. That's okay. what it says. You're just gonna cut a little piece off. The one little square goes on each side. Oh. Okay. And then what we do on here, you don't have to He's get the nice so things, get some guys, fuzzle it in half, cut a hole in the middle. Okay. okay. You're going to put like two pieces here, and then we're going to cover it with two more, and then keep some pressure off of it. This little Vaseline gauze will keep anything from sticking. Okay. So it's not going to stick. Okay. And JCN got me ready for my surgery. Two weeks, and then two weeks, <laughs> they're about two weeks, then you can go just Vaseline and abandon. When you go up, it's like the pressure up in the air. Mm -hmm. It'll make him blow up. At the top? It'll like make him blow up, period. Because of like what? Because he got surgery? Yeah, because he didn't went through surgery. It was like a change in his body. That shit crazy as hell. I don't know. I don't know why he had to wear the socks. Mm -hmm. I just it didn't. helped with his blood circulation. So And it helps so he don't get a blood clot. Mm -hmm. He is probably in surgery, but I'm going to see if he's not in surgery. Go ahead and say hi to you real quick. All right. Okay. All right. Be right back. You're welcome. Like, can he start working on abs? I know she said a mom. Wait, wait, my nipples look so fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and small. You, good. you know, this made me realize how different the man chest look to the woman chest. Because I'm thinking about my areolas. Like, he don't have no big ass areolas yeah. over his shit. Y'all don't be trying to picture what my shit look like. I'm just trying to say. What it's it. a big old areola. Well, that's what the term you used. I'm just repeating what you Because it sounds like you're trying to say, I got a big old areola, and we ain't trying to... Yeah, let's just get it. Hey, it's going to go down. We trying to get your nipples on, too? I'm wanting them, huh? You're not getting your nipples on. Let me see your nipples. You still ain't show me. You got to see mine. Yo, they look old. What are you doing? Perfect. He's out. So he's going to come back and say hi to you. Okay. Yeah. Right, we'll be back in just a minute. 
They didn't got caught acting up in the yeah. room. Remember when we almost got caught one yeah. time? We was about to do something. Yeah. Anytime you in the hospital room, if you thinking about doing something, more than likely your ass gonna get caught. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
rest my um, nipples because I'm putting Vaseline and everything on there, so I have to make sure there's no buildup. My skin feels I'm shredded. I'm going to get that This whole area is numb. Like I feel pressure, but um, I can't really feel my nipples. These scary tri- um, scared, uh, strips, I have to wait till they fall off on their own. But, like I showed you guys before, my incisions are not as big. They're very, very thin. This, and, and my, my favorite part about it is that it's not raised. I can't feel it at all. Oh my God, they look so thin. But yes, my, my incisions are very thin. They feel thin. They don't feel raised as of yet. Um, I'm hoping... I wish him for the best. No, I just got out the shower. Okay, I hope this is not a dumb question. I'm just wondering, like, where do the nip- where did they come from? Are those his original nipples or? Yeah, normally they like size them. So... Yeah, they're si- Oh, they t- do they take his nipples and shave them down, cut them down? Well, I ain't no doctor. I that's know. What I'm I'm, thinking, no, that's though. just the question that going to my head. Like, where were they random yeah, pepperonis because, that they got from somewhere? Thing is, it ain't like when he showed his chest before, like he had some big ass nipple that was sitting up there. Hmm. It was just a piece of skin. Go down through the steps with y'all on what you do next. Oh, and I'm using one of my girlfriend's towels, so she's gonna kill me if she watches this video. But well, anyways, just got out the shower. So what you wanna do is you just wanna oh, buddy. Anyways, you just wanna pat it, right? want to pat it dry you don't want to hey he looks good I literally haven't been able to scrub my chest but yeah you just want to pat it dry pat 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 probably not the better than the pat 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 hey hey Anyways, once it's patted dry you're going to take a Q-tip, just like so. Um, well, right before I do that, actually, I'm going to prep my... I'm going to prep everything else. Tape, scissors, uh, strips, and um, gauze pads, okay? This has, oh. Hey, he like an official, official dude, nah. I mean, he got everything he need. He said he ain't doing it to the bottom. I mean, not to, you know, get, you know, personal, but he said that he's fine with the way things have developed down below. Yeah, he said he still like his poom poom. Yeah. No, oh, babe. Well, he did say that. Oh, my goodness. We're what not time? trying to be offensive. I'm not being offensive. Don't call it a poom poom. It turned into, like, it grew. Don't look at me like that. It grew. We're finna get ourselves in trouble. Let's watch this. Don't. Y'all, please don't crucify us in the comment section. No, okay, so explain to me. Well, y'all tell me how should I say it. So he said he his still penis. like his vagina. No, no. It's just that when he take the shot, it make his clitoris It made it longer. bigger. He said yeah. it made it like this size. So, you know. Oh, he said he can stick it in he there. Still, he, he can, can stick, stick it in, in the vagina. Yes. So does that change? Do you think he would want you to call his shit a poom poom? A vagina. A, a vagina? No. Come what? on, y'all. Let's hit play. This is a, a three sheets, right? But what I do is they told me cut it in a rectangle. Right? So cut it in a rectangle. Hope y'all can see this. Fold it in half. I want to be able to say it right. And it has like this oily oh, substance. Right I substance. know they um, gonna give me right. I'm ready. Dressing. Um, they give you this at the office. I don't know if every doctor does this, but mine was free. They just gave it. mine was free. They just gave it to me. So I have these two. These are gonna go on first. So these are the two things I'm gonna prep. That's one. The next step is the gauze pad. I'm gonna take the gauze pad out. 
Oh, he got what you want to do is, since I have a lot, I can use as many as I want. But it comes like this. What I'll do is I'll cut one sheet in half because they're going to go over it. One sheet in half. JPS said he got now, this after As you can see, I have more. So I'm going to cut this sheet as well in half. Okay? So I have two and two. All right? I'm going to keep these as they are because these are going to be my last layer. Now, this, I'm going to also cut in half. I'll grab this, fold it up, cut a hole in it, oh. and this will be the hole that my nipples will be in. So, like they were showing me in the video. So, my nipples will stick Good job, like JC. Okay. So, do the same thing to the other side. Now that I have all of those ready, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need a hole. We're going to start up on everything else. So, now we're going to go over the steps from the beginning. First thing you want to do is grab a Q-tip and dip it inside of your Vaseline jar and literally just put it on your nipple. So you're just gonna put around the circle of your nipple on the part where you have your stitches, everything. Just make sure you're covering most parts of your nipples. Oh, it I'm look going like up close so you guys can see it as it is. No filter, no nothing. Now, it's a scab, so what's gonna happen mm -hmm. is it's going to end up falling off, it's going to peel off, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose pigmentation. It will end up turning pink, but the pigment will return. You can see the other side as well, same thing. Step two, grab the two strips that we cut, the adaptive strips, the non-adhesive strip. You're gonna grab those, you're gonna put it on there, it's gonna stick, it's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna come off. Like I said, it's a little oily, so it stays on, and it does not tear away or pull away from your actual scab. It actually feels very, very smooth on your nipple. Once that's placed, you're fine to move on to the next step. All right, now this next part, this is why it's important to prep. Now, you have to add your tape to each gauze that you're gonna use. Now, for the ones with the holes, you don't have to put the tape, but I put tape as just an extra security because just in case I decide to go out or just for me to be able to feel secure that it's not going to fall off. But you don't have to put the extra tape because you're gonna put it on the next gauze as well. So this part can be a little harder. All right, so now you're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side, tape on each side. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you have that hole right there, you're good to go. Now, once you're done, you will have to put the other two pieces over it. Tape each side the same way you would. My chest look like Nacho Libre. <laughs> Sorry. So yes, once you have those two done, you'll be all set. That will be your covering. And there you have it, guys. Once that's on, you're all set. That's it. That's all the nipple care that I have to do. And then I have to just put on a compression shirt. Yeah. I can only stay without a compression after about an hour. That's it. Man, that's what's up. Congratulations to Jason. I know he's feeling so happy, like, just being able to walk out, not worrying about what shirt he need to put on, trying to hide the little bumps mm -hmm. and all that. That's really what's up. And again, y'all... We thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace.